I'm Lauren Hunter and I grew up on Long Island, New York. Um, I went to high school at Hampton Bays High School. Um, I'm one of six. I'm the second oldest in my family. I'm the only girl out of five boys. Um, in high school, I really, really wanted to be a veterinarian. I loved animals and I, I thought that that would be my path. Um, but growing up in New York, I knew that I wanted to move out of the state and experience something else. So I went to Colby Sawyer College, which is in New London, New Hampshire, a small private college. And when I got there, I realized that I was interested in education, but I wasn't sure where that was going to go. So I decided to um, take my path with education to um, social work. And I worked with the Department of Children and Family Services for six months in Claremont, New Hampshire, which is a, a very rough area of New Hampshire. Um, and for that six month period, I um, did uh, home visits. And probably three months in, something happened that shifted my, probably my where my heart was. I knew my heart was there. I knew I wanted to do it. I knew I wanted to help people and children and families. But I realized because of an incident that took place that I just didn't have the thick skin needed for that job. Um, while we were on a home visit, the supervisor I was working with handed me a five month old baby that we were taking out of the home. Um, and as my supervisor was explaining to the father of the child, the mother of that baby um, pulled a knife on me and came after me. And I knew my instinct, even at 22, was to shield the baby from that. She was going after me. Um, and thankfully, a police officer had been there. You, you need a police officer when you're taking a child out of a home. And um, he stepped in and pulled her off of me. But I realized in that moment that I didn't have the thick skin that I needed for that job. The heart was there, my heart was there 100%, but it just, it wasn't gonna be for me. So I decided to move to child development at Colby Sawyer and um, get a degree in elementary ed, um, which was great. And um, I was able to work in a, in a second grade classroom, actually in Claremont. I was placed in a second grade cla uh, classroom in Claremont, New Hampshire for the remaining six months of my year. And um, it was wonderful. It was exactly where I wanted to be. Um, during that time, after graduation, and I had my degree, um, I was headed to Boston um, but that didn't pan out and my grandmother had been diagnosed with ovarian cancer and she lived in Wolfboro where I had summered um, from New York when I was a little girl and so I decided to put my um, job on hold and come up here to be with my grandparents and to help my grandmother through that through the process of, of getting through chemo and ovarian cancer um, and in the meantime I went in and moved in with them after graduation and um, which was great. I loved it, loved every minute of it. And a job opening came up at Brewster for an instructional support teacher. And I interviewed and I got the job and I realized that was really the, the best of both worlds. You know, coming from Long Island, New York, where I was, um, you know, very carefree and not as intentional about my everyday moves. Um, and then finding purpose in in being with my grandparents and helping them. And so it, it turned out to be a great situation because I got a job and was able to be near my grandparents and, and live on campus and, and start my life at Brewster. Brewster, I was 22 years old and I began teaching seniors. And I had a student in my class who was 20. We were two years apart and I was teaching him. 
and it was a really interesting experience for me because it, it opened my eyes to private school as I'm, I was a public school kid coming from New York. It opened my eyes to private school and the connections that can be made at all levels, all different ages. I was passionate almost immediately about the job that I was doing in instructional support. I loved it. I loved every minute about it. I loved connecting with the kids. I loved meeting new teachers and, you know, seeing kids from different areas, diversity. It was, it was eye-opening for me and it was wonderful. When I started the job, I was geared towards three years. That was kind of where I was going. I'm going to put three years in and then I'll move to an urban area. I'll move to the city. But I had met my husband here. He was a former student and he came back after college to coach here for a while while he was starting up his business. So that then led into more years here. Um, and during my time, what I've really appreciated is Brewster has given me so much. That's what I think of it. I don't think that I give to them. I think that they give to me. I have been able to be a coach. I've been able to be a dorm parent. I've been able to get my master's degree, do do things that happened in the dorm that sparked a passion in me. Um, seeing some of the dorm girls that have gone through my dorms have eating disorders and not being equipped to handle them properly. I went back to graduate school and um, earned a degree in health ed with a concentration in eating disorders so I could give back to the school. Um, and it's been 18 years of passion and experience in something new every year. It doesn't feel monotonous. It feels different and exciting. And I feel like if I can continue along that path that it can only get better as I stay here longer.